Hello, my name is Daniel G. Wilson, and this is DJW Spotlight. Today on Spotlight, I'll be talking to drunk chicks. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Now, I must say, this is a first for DJW interviews. Uh, please excuse my foreignness, but I must say, I've never had the pleasure of interviewing uh, two lovely ladies such as yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're happy to pop your mom cherry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that, that's a bit excessive. That's a bit over. That's a bit over the top. <laughs> You're making my color thing. <laughs> now, <laughs> I have to say, now my first question is, why are you guys drunk? <laughs> we're not drunk. Why I'm not actually now? a little bit drunk. Why not now with your name? <laughs> Um, like, like, why did we choose the name Drunk Chips? Yes. Um, I think Theo came up with it. Um, yeah, he was just reading a, reading a bunch of names off of a list, and he said Drunk Chicks, and then we were like, that's the name. Yeah, we and we didn't let him go any further. We just yeah. picked that name. Very cool. I have to say, it's a very interesting name. You guys, the name itself uh, brings to mind immediately uh, vomit, uh, 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 loose faculties. Uh, yes, I associate being drunk with vomiting. Same. Yes, but uh, every time. <laughs> uh, I must say the music you guys make is very sobering. However, though, I, I have to say it's, it's a very pleasant. Uh, so I would say contrast the name and the sobering music you guys have. Uh, my next question is this. You guys are a band that is, uh, you are two members of the band. Uh, you guys are, shall we say, a collection of talent. You also have bands from Pretty Odd. You're a, a bandmate from your other band, uh, Nicole. And uh, Theo, who is a, could be considered a legend in a saga in terms of the vocalist. He, every band I look up will use, like in the history of Mississauga, usually has him from like 19, late 90s to now. Uh, I have to say, what would you say about your band, uh, the collection of talent you guys have? How would you say that? What, what is it like having all these talented musicians together? How would you say that it makes the music? What, how would you say that affects the creative process? Um, I I like having like such a, a wide array of musicians in the band just because um, like we all come from really different musical backgrounds. So Theo does like the hardcore thing all the time, and Bensei and I do more like indie stuff. And then Rachel's got like a punk background, but she also does a lot of jazz stuff. So like trying to play hardcore punk while we all come from like such a a different variety of, of music is interesting, I guess. I think also um, more than just like playing with talented musicians, um, it's like good because I've made friends that are like going to be my friends either way, mm -hmm. like regardless of the music. Which yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Now my next question for you guys is would you like fruit? You know what? I actually had a conversation today. I, like where fruit. I hate fruit. <laughs> Thanks. The texture Apple. is very strange, but I appreciate is this clean? the offer. Can I bite it? You can bite into it. <laughs> that it's, was really loud. It is a gift <laughs> from me to drunk chicks. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Now, my next question is shitty parties. Uh, you guys have a song called Shitty Parties about shitty parties. What would you say? Would you say that? What would you? What inspired that song? And would you say that's? Were you inspired in any way by the current state trend? Trend that is opposing the club scene, shall we say, nowadays? How would you guys say you came up with, and why do you have a song called "Shitty Parties"? Um, I think maybe it's more than just about the club scene, but like shitty parties and smoke-filled basements, shitty men Horrible trying music. to creep up on you. Um, yeah, yeah that's, not, that's what it's about. It's not something that we like, so we were like... Okay. It's definitely something that we experience often, because like, I don't go to clubs, but I mean, I've definitely been to shitty parties. And, um, I think also it, what it is is sort of a testament to where we, like, we, where we are now and where we'll be in the future. Um, mm. Which won't be shitty parties. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Very cool. Now, my... Here are my last two questions. My first, second to last question, politics. You guys have mentioned previously that you guys have a bit of a political mindset when it comes to where you, the direction you guys are going in terms of artistry or lyricism, or just in general energy. Explain a, a, this political, slightly political attitude you guys have. I wouldn't say we're necessarily a political band, but like uh, each member in Drunk Chicks has some sort of issue that they deal with on a daily basis, and that obviously comes out of your creative life, right? So like it's one thing to be a woman in music or a trans woman in music. Like that's something that fuels the lyrics and fuels the music. So like 
we didn't set out to be a political band, but like there's definitely a, a distinct tone to our music because it's influencing us. Yeah, I think a lot of also, um, I guess this could even apply with our name. Um, we kind of, at least I can say for myself, I know I've talked with Theo about this too, um, I think that the right, nowadays the right and left wing completely want to censor things, whereas it used to be just the right wing like censoring things that were offensive, but now like there's people from like the left wing calling themselves feminists and trying to, um, I guess, attack our name, but like, you know, I think we can call ourselves whatever we want. Well, I, my, I myself am more, I myself am a bit more of a believer in third wave feminism. Anything you do is fine, anything you do is fine as long as you choose to do it. So yeah, I see nothing wrong with your name, but then again, I'm, I'm a man, so who am I to say? <laughs> Anyways, now my last question for you guys is this. <clears throat> what can we expect from Drunk Chicks? What is, what next, what, what can we expect from you guys? What are you going to do new? What, what, what can we expect in the, in, the, in the near future from you guys? Um, well, we're going to release our album in January, or not January. You're recording? We're recording in January, hopefully. Um, yeah, we're going to try and get money for our album. So, yeah, maybe that's something we shouldn't really talk about. <laughs> but Support yeah. these guys. Anyways, um, we'll, yeah, you'll see stuff. We'll have a music video and other things. For right now, we'll just be playing shows. Yeah, playing shows, writing music. Hmm. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you for a little wonderful interview. Thank, thank you for interviewing us. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye.